Now, there are plenty of different perspectives within the left. Some advocate for a classless, moneyless society. Some for a form of market socialism. Some for a near-complete flattening of hierarchies. But what they all have in common... None of these people in the pictures and video are advocating for any of this because they're all paid actors. <laughs> it's not yeah. Funny. These are the most <laughs> status conscious people in the world right here. These are the people who move out to Hollywood to become yep. famous actors in movies and stuff. You're telling yep. me these people are for flattening hierarchies? Ha! Don't make me laugh. Yeah. Common, ability, dignity, and the... All these people at the very top of the attractiveness hierarchy... <laughs> That's They're true. in favor of fucking flattening hierarchies. Sorry, bitch. We're going to have to fix your nose. It's we're all the big. ugly people. Yeah, we're going to have to make your nose a little bigger. We're going to have to make you a little shorter. You're, we're going to have to make you a little fatter. Isn't it amazing that it's only conventionally, conventionally attractive people that support socialism? Yeah. That's great. They're like, we're at the top of the attractiveness hierarchy. Now we want to take your money. <laughs> yeah. The the way the way that you can, uh, you know, climb the hierarchy when you're not at the top of the attractiveness hierarchy is you can get fucking rich. <laughs> that's right. You can get a job that's yeah. very productive and successful. You can get you can get rich, and then you, this yep. girl right here who's hanging on, you know, the nine and a half guy over here is like, huh? Now I'm interested in this other guy who's the real estate mogul. Well, yeah. I mean, when, when does it end? If you flatten all the economic hierarchies, you think you think that's going to be the end of it? No, people are going to be like, it's going to turn into attractive, as you said. Oh, yeah. but people are more attractive than other people, and they gain social benefit from that. So we got to do something. We got to flatten the attractiveness hierarchy. Oh, that's somehow. what I was saying. Yeah, you you fuck up their face. That's what you do. You got to put a bag on their head. No, I think tattoos on the face really destroy right. attractiveness pretty quickly. What's the name of that uh, short story? Oh, I know the one. Yeah, we brought that up before. Who is um, who's the author of that? I it was, it's a Kurt. It's Kurt Wagner. Kurt, story, yeah, so Kurt Vonnegut. Wagner. Von Kurt Wagner. Von Wagner. <laughs> That's Von actually the writer slash uh, composer. You're right. You're right. Kurt Vonnegut story. What's the name? It's like it's. Oh, what's the name of it? It's like it's somebody's name, isn't it? Yeah. I just was like looking it up. Kurt Vonnegut is great. I've actually listened to Kurt. I heard Kurt Vonnegut speak a lecture before he passed away. Really? That's cool. Yeah. It was super cool. It was super cool. He said, you got to get yourself a gang. He said, modern modern society is just it's too few people. Harrison Bergeron is the name of the story. Harrison Bergeron. Yes. It's yeah. about how in our... What the fuck is happening? Do you hear that? I do, yeah. Someone's breaking into your home. What is that sound? Some I just told you, someone's breaking into your home. Go check. The communist. Are, oh, you know what it is? It's actually kind of funny. There's like this really big, like, giant lizard, and it's like seeing its reflection in the window, and it's tapping its face on the window. There's a big lizard outside your room. <laughs> it's like a giant lizard. You're it's like crazy. A, it's like a iguana you're, sized you're lizard crazy. on the window, like tapping its face on the on the glass. You got like a monitor lizard out there. <laughs> the Komodo dragon it, outside. It can smell. To get, it's, it's got the communist flag in its mouth and it's hissing at me. <laughs> what should I do? It can Second smell thought your... sends his Komodo dragon after me. It can smell your fear. That's right. Something happened uh, to your mic for a second there. Oh, I don't know. Is it sitting? It's better now? now, yeah. Okay. Uh, Harrison Bergeron is the story. It's in the hypothetical future communist society where everything has to be equal so all good looking people have to put on masks if you're stronger than other people you have to wear weights so you're weaker yep. if you're smarter than other people you have to have a headset that like blares loud noises that makes you lose your train of thought that's sitch is sitch is gonna have to get that what why would i get that because you're too damn smart man oh you gotta get the blaring in your ears that's true all these that's true. all these I think all these babes in this video are probably just laughing at how communism is stupid. <laughs> that's, that's really what they're laughing at. The director said, ha, here, let me make y'all laugh. Communism. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Aiden Powden for $5. Thank you, Aiden. Says, so he wants to siphon huge amounts of money from the rich and corporations. Mm -hmm. What do we do when those people companies leave because of taxes? Well, we make mm. the whole world communist so they have nowhere to go. That's what we do. Yeah. 
Yeah, you got to make the whole world. He, that's I'm sure that's part of the plan. <laughs> Look, we believe in democracy, and that means that we're going to force people and businesses to pay us and stay in our country against their will. We that's what we're going to do. Literally did that in Iraq. The democratic solution. Okay. We literally forced democracy on Iraq. Remember the blue fingers? <laughs> It worked so well. They all voted. They look how happy they are. Oh shit! <laughs> the value of human, click, and click. that's something we should all agree upon. So come on in. We'll be glad to have you. <laughs> this time is that him? Is that him no. in the video? <laughs> no. no. Topic is so important to me. I try my best to understand and learn as much as I can, so I can share with others. And. <laughs> 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 Is that, the, is that a raspberry you're doing? Oh, my God. No one believes that for a second. This guy does his best to understand, understand? things. No. No. no, no, no. He does his best to propagandize things. That's what's happening here. You think this is just straight confirmation bias? Like communism was the first thing that he encountered? 1,000% straight confirmation bias. Yeah. Yes. I don't, I didn't, I didn't encounter communism like first. I mm -hmm. felt like I feel like I went looking because a lot of people would talk about Karl Marx and stuff, and I thought, oh, I'm gonna figure what's all this, what's all the huff about Karl Marx and communism? <laughs> it sounds renegade. I like that. I did like that part, like the renegade part. I like renegade. I'm a renegade. This is probably for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then I started digging in, and then that's when I realized that most of the people talking about communism had no idea what they were talking about. They were just talking about <laughs> communism from some other person's perspective, from some fucking video that they saw or some, you know, somebody else talking about it. Nobody they, went, nobody goes to the original source, no. Sitch. No, they they heard someone say, hey, yeah. if you like good things, communism is a good thing. Oh, yeah, totally. And if you don't like bad things, capitalist is a bad thing. So notice the how, choice is clear. <laughs> notice how in this video he said, absolutely nothing yes. about the inability to start a business or or have private Adam, he property. didn't say anything about anything yeah that too. <laughs> that too this video this video is liberals say they want good things but do they actually question mark question mark question mark communists say they want good things and do oh <gasps> you should be communist the name of the video is you're probably already a socialist, though. I, I just, my gut tells me if you put a poll out that said, hey, we're going to make private property illegal. Are you in favor of that? Because <laughs> that's what socialism is. No, no, no. It's, look. Illegal. You're probably <laughs> already a socialist because you probably already want good things in your life. It's so simple. I don't know. Private you just property. redefine things to mean whatever the fuck you want them to mean. It's so simple. When I was seven years old, I was telling my parents about what kind of house I wanted to own. <laughs> okay. Were you really? That's weird. Oh, hell yeah. I mean, unless it was like a castle with trap doors or something. Uh, there was a really cool house down the street that I liked a lot. I was uh, like, one day I want to have a house like that. I see. Yeah. I wanted to be a dinosaur, so. Oh, really? Yeah. How's that project going? <laughs> I'm just curious. We're still working on the Where genetic are we engineering. At? Okay. Uh, Where are we at? Is that one coming together? Is that one coming to fruition? I don't know. Do you have a house like that, Adam? <laughs> you tell me. Mm. I. It's funny because I was thinking, boy, that house was really a shit old house. Like there my house go. now is much better than that. House. There you go. Well, you know what? Now I'm I even traded better up. than dinosaur. Okay, I traded up. The seven-year-old me had no idea about housing values. I've become a person of shadow that's obviously far superior than being a dinosaur, all right? Yeah, sweet. One way I like to do that is by listening to audiobooks. I travel a lot for work, so I have plenty of time to sit on planes and listen. What do you think this guy does? I travel a lot for work. I, I am a, I'm a uh, critical race theory... <laughs> Diversity trainer. I travel all over the world to teach people about diversity and inclusion. I'm just Work guessing. Of being a propagandist, you just have, he has to travel. He has to keep travel. Adam, he has to keep traveling to China to get his working orders. Okay. 
You think he travels in first class or business class? Probably. Fascinating. You don't want to get, you got to, you know, you got to relax. Everyone should get a first class ticket, Adam. In under communism, everyone gets first class. It would be cool if that was true. What do you mean if? Well, just a question I'm just when. Okay. It's these I'm looking greedy... I'm thinking about that dirty guy who like puts the gas in the plane. Like what what's his story? Adam, the only reason that we don't all have first class reclining seats for like the big space and mm-hmm. the little TVs is because of greedy capitalist assholes. That's what's stopping us, preventing us from all getting first class for free. We show this fly where we want for free. I don't, I don't understand. like to fly. That's because you're you're evil capitalist, probably. I don't like to be shoved in an airplane. No, I don't like flying either. I don't like to be <laughs> any place. I don't like being any place that I can't leave without dying. Yeah, that's a good. That's a great way to look at it. <laughs> it's like, well, something goes wrong in that plane, you're pretty fucked. There's nothing you can do about it. But such flying is safer than driving. <laughs> yeah, but don't you, you see, love I'm when people a, say that. I'm an emotional, uh, illogical human being. Yeah. That doesn't care about facts. I just care about my feelings. Yeah, driving is far more comfortable. 